Well guys, here we are. We have a very special video in store for you today. My name is Frank. We're here at Long Island Sports Cars. Let's go ahead, let's get into the review on this beautiful, brand new Aston Martin Vanquish. All right, guys, and I am so excited to film today's video. That is right, this is the brand new Aston Martin Vanquish. Let's dive into the full review on this beautiful, beautiful Super GT. And now before we get into the review of this car, I do wanna, of course, shout out Again, Long Island Sports Cars for letting me come down and film this new beautiful Vanquish. They are Long Island's premier dealer of all Aston Martin and McLaren cars. Extremely inviting dealership. They will take care of you. And of course, all of your needs will be met if you are shopping around for a brand new Aston Martin or McLaren. They have plenty of inventory in stock all the time, and they're always getting new and extremely cool cars in. And they're usually the first ones, of course, to get anything new Aston Martin or McLaren related. I feel like on the East Coast, so remember, come on down, take a look at their dealership, take a look at their inventory, and buy a car from them. So let's get into the name of Vanquish. This is the third iteration or third generation of the Aston Martin Vanquish. The last one finished in 2018. That was the last outgoing year for the previous generation Vanquish. Uh, one of which you may have actually seen on my channel beforehand. This is taking over the DBS 770. That is right. This is the most powerful production Aston Martin to date. So starting off on the exterior elements of the brand new Aston Martin Vanquish. This awesome exterior color, Magneto Bronze. Now jumping into the front end, you can see these two exposed carbon louvers going across here with six little inlets on each side. Very aggressive yet subtle at the same time. Typical Aston Martin body language. It is the gentleman's car at the end of the day. As you can see, these awesome headlights on here. Now these are fairly similar to a DB12 or the new Vantage. It is a new Aston Martin style design and element that they're using. However, one thing I want you to note in the headlights is that this lower portion is actually designed by AI in an effort to minimize glare for other drivers reflecting off of the headlights. Now, moving on to the front end, as you can see, this massive front grille on here too, which is 13% larger than previous generations. In an effort to keep that twin turbo V12 underneath the hood as cool as possible. And just under that is of course going to be your flat carbon fiber front lip on here, which also looks absolutely fantastic. Now, moving our way back, you have these beautiful 21 inch wheels, the front and rears, you have 275s on the front, 325s on the rear with Pirelli P0 tires, specially made for Aston Martin. You have carbon ceramic brakes with this beautiful bronze color brake caliper on here too. Now moving on to the full side, just behind that front wheelbase, this is where the extra length within the new Vanquish is actually gonna come from. And that's 80 millimeters to be exact when compared to previous generations. Enhancing the dash to axle design parameter, focusing the feeling of power from the front to the rear. Moving up a little bit to the side mirrors, of course, finishing again, more flat carbon fiber. Now, of course, when you unlock it too, you're greeted with the door handle, which pops out for you. So you can actually grab onto the door and of course close it. On the lower end on here, you have this extremely large flat carbon fiber side skirt and now we are moving on to the rear end or the most controversial part of the new vanquish this is where everyone either loves it or hates it this is the real change for the new vanquish and aston martin in general as you can see it is a very different rear end than any other production Aston Martin out there. Takes elements from not only the 177, but on the rear end, you have the Vulcan design elements on here too. And you can really see that in this rear taillight design, which looks beautiful. These are all individual LEDs going straight down. You have what Aston Martin is calling the Aston Martin shield on the rear end. This is of course finished in flat carbon fiber. You can get this option with three things. You have flat carbon fiber, which this is. You have a gloss black, and then you have color matching, which I think would actually look really nice on here too. You have the Aston Martin spelled out on the rear end, reverse light right down there, one singular LED. Now, one thing to note, obviously on the rear end is going to be the exhaust. This is a titanium exhaust. You have two pipes on each side. Of course, we're gonna have to get a sound, but once we get over the V12 that's underneath the hood. And of course, in typical Aston Martin fashion, your hood release is going to be in the passenger side, tucked away in the footwell. We'll go ahead and make our way up to the front, which is going to now expose that beautiful 
twin turbo v12 straight from the factory of aston martin straight from the design team of aston martin there's no other car manufacturer that is responsible for this car besides aston martin this is designed and built by them for them so starting off under the hood of course you can see the plethora of exposed carbon fiber on both the sides and on the hood itself which is made out of carbon fiber so you have tons of this gloss carbon fiber on here as well covering the engine bay you have your aston martin wings in the center your v12 twin turbo up there and of course your typical vanquish crest on here now let's talk power for the vanquish this car has about 830 horsepower about 1000 pound feet of torque zero to 60 time in 3.2 seconds at a top speed of 214 miles per hour that is right 214 miles an hour coming from a super gt and this car also features a boost reserve which is going to essentially spool up your turbos while you're driving so you're going to have a lot less turbo lag so you're going to have a more instantaneous response from the throttle it's also made it to your eight speed zf gearbox on here as well and it's going to be made it to an electronic rear differential which is a first of its kind for Aston Martin. Let's go ahead, listen to this V12 engine. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that sounded absolutely fantastic, especially when those valves opened up. Aston Martin, you honestly did a great job on this one. Now we are going to dive into the interior of the new Vanquish. Let's start off though, of course, on the key because this is obviously how you enter the car. As you can see, it's a pretty standard Aston Martin key. It's the new design that they have. You have your lock, unlock, and your boot open button, which we actually jump into first of all. You have your Aston Martin on the side and your wings at the front end. Go ahead and click the trunk button. As you can see, this whole portion will open up. Your entire Aston Martin shield will lift and you will have access into the rear spatial room of the Vanquish. Now, there's not a ton of room back here, honestly speaking, but there is more room on the interior, which we will jump into shortly. But in terms of anything back here, there's really nothing too special. You actually do have your little tie right here for the Aston Martin umbrella. You have, of course, your carpeted flooring and your sides as well. And that's honestly all that there is to feature back here. When you go ahead and close the rear trunk, it is a soft close and it will lock itself away, creating that flawless, seamless rear end. So let's jump onto the interior. We are now inside of the new Vanquish and wow, that's all I have to say, just wow. So initial impression, the seats are extremely comfortable. They are of course wrapped in full leather. You have orange stitching running throughout, heated and ventilated. You have your Aston Martin crest embroidered on the headrest, of course. Plenty, and I mean plenty of uh, carbon fiber in here as well. The Vanquish does come standard with a Bowers and Wilkham sound system. Honestly, it's a similar design to the DB12. However, it's just done better, and especially the rear seats, which are actually a very big change in the Aston Martin world. So, speaking on the technology in here, first of all, before we jump into that, is you have 10.25 inch screens in the center and the gauge cluster as well. Obviously, everything is now digital. Your engine start stop button is right here in the center. We'll give that a click. You're able to control all of your basic functions for air control and everything like that on here as well. This is all a similar layout, but the one thing I really like is that they did not integrate everything into the screen. They have physical buttons and plenty of them for your basic control, such as climate control, uh, audio control, and your temperature control as well, uh, along with a few other things as well, which are really nice. Um, that is going to be your traction control has a button right here. Your button for increasing and softening your stiffness on your suspension is right here as well, along with the ability to open and close your valves, which is right here too. You have auto start stop on here and your manual button is right here. Your gear selector is going to be pretty standard to other Aston Martins. You have your toggle right here, which of course you will pull down for go from drive, neutral, and reverse. You have your park button. If you want to put it into park, you have to physically click this button. And that's really it. Uh, otherwise, everything else in here is pretty standard to say a DB12. It looks really nice. Aston Martin has stepped up their game 1000% on the interiors, and they are now a valid, valid competitor in terms of all other supercars and luxury cars that are out there. Again, this is a super GT with the power that this thing has. Matte carbon fiber running throughout the entire car and the entire interior. Steering wheel is absolutely beautiful. Extremely nice. It is heated. Of course, you have these beautiful 
paddle shifters on here. Very nice. They feel excellent. Finished with gloss black in the center of here too with more basic steering wheel controls on here. The big thing that I wanna to touch on is this is a Super GT with no rear seats. That is right, guys. Normally, Aston Martin has a two plus two configurator. All the other generation vanquishes out there had rear seats. Although they were limited and pretty much useless, they were there at the end of the day. This one is completely gone with two rear seats. It is just your front driver and front passenger, and the rear is just designed for storage space. And as you can see right here, it is storage space with these suitcases specifically in design and specifically in mind. As you can see, these Aston Martin leather wrapped luggage carriers right here are specifically designed to fit the little cubbies that are right here and right here with your sound system in the center. And just above that, you have this carbon fiber brace running throughout the center to help with the rigidity and driving of the vehicle, keeping it nice and stiff. But you also have two more pieces of luggage on here as well. Again, wrapped in that same color, same design, same leather with the Aston Martin crest in the center. And of course, specifically designed to fit the little area right there. So you actually have a little more storage, like I was saying, back here combined with the rear trunk space as well. And of course you have a little bit more storage behind the seats too. And I want you to notice one thing, and that is the brand new full glass roof that Aston Martin has built right into the Vanquish's headliner. So this is standard tinted, so it lets about 6% of light in, so I'm not getting blinded right now. There is no cover for it, it does not move, there are no electronics within it, it is not a standard sunroof, it is just a full glass panoramic roof, really making this car feel extremely open and extremely airy, which makes the space in here feel excellent, again, because it only has two seats. So Aston Martin did an excellent job in terms of making this car feel bigger and wider than what it actually looks like inside. However, when you close it up and take a look at the exterior length and width of the Vanquish, you can see just truly how wide it is. And now guys, with us jumping onto the exterior, once again, to wrap up this video, I want to of course finish it off with the price tag of the brand new Vanquish. These start at $430,000, the flagship Aston Martin model. Again, thank you Long Island Sports Cars for inviting me down to the review of this beautiful car. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know when I post next. And I look forward to seeing all of you guys in the next video. Take care.